to talk about something that really amazes me. And I've, I've talked about it before in social media platforms. Everybody in this country today wants to destroy, take down, eliminate, cancel, disappear, anything having to do with slavery. Confederate statues, Confederate flags, statues that have nothing to do with the Confederacy, but the statues or monuments to slave owners like Washington, Jefferson, Andrew Jackson, whom statue which they tried to pull down the other day. They want to get rid of all these things. Some people want to go after the Constitution of the United States, the American flag, the Betsy Ross flag you may remember last summer, anything even remotely connected with the institution of slavery. But what puzzles me is there's one institution linked so closely to slavery, but nobody ever talks about renaming it or getting rid of it. What is that institution? It's the institution that defended slavery. It's the institution that plunged this country into civil war in an effort to protect slavery. It's an institution, a political party, that when the South lost that war, this institution, this party did everything they could to prevent the implementation of what was trying to be done with the freedmen. It's the party that gave us Jim Crow. It's the party that gave us segregation, institutionalized, systemic racism. It's the party of the Ku Klux Klan. It's the party of separate but equal. Of course, the party I'm talking about is the Democrat Party. And yet, while these protesters want to take down Andrew Jackson and Jefferson. And remember, it wasn't that long ago that annually the big Democrat Party dinner was the Jefferson Jackson dinner. Never want to go after the Democrat Party. You want to rename Yale University? Why don't you rename the Democrat Party? You want to get rid of any vestige of the Confederacy and its supporters? Why don't we eliminate the Democrat Party? And I think the answer is obvious. It's because this isn't about slavery. It's not really about racism. It's about political power. The people on the streets want political power. The Democrats want political power. They use the issue of racism and slavery to get it and they work together to achieve their goals. And the Democratic Party, they're willing to trade the statues, their old icons like Jefferson and Jackson, for political power, because they don't really care about their past. They don't care about this country's past. All they care about is their power in the future. And the people on the streets who are basically their pawns, whether they realize it or not, are doing the same thing. And they know that they can't, they can target statues of Democrats, but they can never call them Democrats. They have to call them racists or white supremacists or something else. I mean, they know these statues they're pulling down are statues of Democrats. Why is it that Yale, which had its beginnings with support of a slave trade, involvement in the slave trade has to have its names changed, its names name changed, but not the Democrat Party. Why isn't Black Lives Matter demanding that the Democrat Party change its name? Why not just call it the Black Lives Matter Party? Why is that? There must be something else going on here than just a fight against racism 
institutional racism, structural, systemic, invisible, it doesn't really matter. It's what I call ISSI racism, I-S-S-I. -S -S -I. Those are the four things. And if you try to pin them down on one, they just switch to the other. I mean, it's, it's very amorphous. Uh, arguing against it is, is an argument you can never win because they just switch to one of the other four. And even when you try to do that, then they just go and change the definitions. And if that doesn't work, they go to Merriam-Webster and demand that they change the definitions to suit what, what they want. But did you ever think about that? Why does Jefferson have to go and Jackson have to go and, and Robert E. Lee have to go? Why do the military bases named after generals who were also Confederates, but who were also Democrats, have to be renamed, but not the Democrat Party? It's because this isn't about this. It's about power. That's all it's about. Power. You can see that in Black Lives Matter. Black lives matter the most when they're killed by white people. George Floyd, case in point. The little three-year-old boy who was shot in Chicago over the weekend, you know his name? No. Why aren't there protests in the streets? Why aren't there marches across the country? I mean, who was more innocent? That little boy shot in the back by a black man or George Floyd? Now, I'm not saying George Floyd wasn't innocent in the sense that, you know, he didn't deserve to die for passing a counterfeit bill. That was nonsense. It was murder. But how come this guy who, you know, had several criminal offenses in his life and was committing what was basically a federal crime, pushing a counterfeit bill, which is stealing money from the store. Why is he somehow more innocent than the little three-year-old boy who, you know, what's he guilty of? And yet, you know, there's marches to George Floyd, there aren't marches in memory of his poor little boy whose name nobody knows outside of Chicago. And it's the same thing with renaming things and tearing things down. Everything's being torn down. Everything has to have its names changed, names changed, except the Democrat Party, which was the party of all these people and most of these institutions. It's the party of slavery, of Jim Crow, of everything else. But they get a pass because they're the political arm of this group. And it's, it's absurd. It, it's just totally absurd. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. And until the next time, I'm out of here.